Before the video starts, you guys will have free mythical fruit. Well, then all you gotta do is leave a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and comment your username with it in the comment section, and watch the full video. I mean it, the full video, okay? I will be selecting a random mythical or legendary fruit to give to someone in the comments. Do be sure to comment your username down below. This is one of the giveaway winners for my last video. I'll try to reach out to them and see if I can give them the fruit. Found their profile. They seem to be a bacon here. I'll go ahead and send them a friend request. We'll uh, see if they'll accept it. I don't know. This is gonna be the second winner right here. This person, we're just gonna take their name. On their profile, they also seem to be a noob, so I don't really know why, uh, what's going on. Pick a different winner. That guy looks like a bacon hair. We're gonna choose this winner instead, since they're not, like, a bacon hair brand new account. Because how do I know I'm not giving this fruit to some random kids all? We're gonna go ahead and friend request this guy. He literally has 199 friends, and I'm gonna send the fruits to him after the video. So this is episode 4 of my journey to beat Roblox Blocks Fruits. And as you can see, we are currently in the volcano, or the magma village, whatever you want to call it. And we're also currently level 300. Exactly level 300 no less no more every single episode i'm gonna try to roll a fruit just to see if i can get something better than light because while light is amazing i would kind of like something better like buddha for example let's just go ahead and spin for a fruit and see what we get okay and we just got rubber fruit this is so bad yeah i don't think i'm gonna be using this uh this rubber fruit anytime soon so i guess we're just gonna go ahead and store that now we got like a rubber fruit inside of our inventory as you can see there's a level 300 quest defeat seven military soldiers confirm okay so look if i click it like a couple times it has like an ability that pushes them back that's actually super op wait a second okay that's actually really cool yeah we should definitely keep using that one just gonna keep hitting these guys in my shark saw okay we're already getting a bunch of mastery and we already got ability and i just died wow okay i wasn't paying attention all right but uh, as you can see we got the consecutive slashes might as well use it on this guy since he killed me like that it kind of delayed a little bit but yeah that's what that does okay that's pretty interesting yeah, the more we kill these guys, the more it does indeed level up. So that's pretty cool. Okay, hopefully the shark saw is enough to kill these three without me dying in the process. Okay, yeah, the ability on this is pretty cool. Okay, we got some of them. Boom. Just gonna kill one more. Ow, ow. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Okay, boom, you're dead. There we go. I think it's 47. We're nearing max mastery on it. And these guys just die already. Oh my gosh. These guys deal like infinite damage, I swear. Okay, just one more. It is the last guy we should have to kill before we're done with the quest. Oh my gosh, there we go. We finished the quest. We went up one level from that are you actually trolling right now did we seriously just go up one level and why did i put a point in block fruits oh my god you know i don't even care anymore luckily there's somehow still a double exp code i haven't used so now we have double exp this is probably the last one of the series um i don't know what i'm gonna do after that though so we should probably make the best of this double exp code so they still hurt me that's not very good but at least if i just spam my sharks i like pushes them away a little bit so it should be fine. I can just do like that. Okay, killed one and killed the other one. There we go. Okay. For some reason, only two spawn on this side. And then there's another three on this side. I don't know why. Like, stomp ability can hurt them. Yeah, this is definitely the way to go right now. Take this, buddy. Yep, there we go. Okay, we killed one. Okay, let's just like kill the other two. Oh, I got my second ability on my thing. Um, I got the execution ability on my shark saw. We only have to kill two more. Let's just test it out on this guy. Execution oh oh my god okay that's really good that was 400 damage right there okay okay this ability is actually so good oh my gosh yeah for first c this is like a this is like such a good sword for the first c right here there we go we just completed the quest and this time we went up three levels instead of one you know what i'll take it you know what man now that we got this sword maxed out i think it's about time we go buy some other swords to level them up too we're just gonna get like every single sword in the first c we're gonna go talk to this sword dealer here we're gonna go ahead and get, I don't know, dual katana. Okay. This is very cheap. And we're also gonna buy the other thing he has, which is the iron mace. Yeah, okay, there we go. We just uh, spent a little bit of money, and now we got two swords. Let's level up the dual katanas first, because why not? Okay, so we're back at the magma village, and now we have our dual katana, but this one actually has a level one ability, which is kind of weird. Okay, we gotta go ahead and kill these guys now, since for some reason they still damage me, despite me being, like, a little bit higher level than them. Take this, dual katana powers. Oh, I think they reworked this sword as well. They changed the effect to be, like, blue. Okay, well, oh my gosh. Okay, we are getting this thing up in the world. Okay, we already got the second ability. Wow, okay. The ability is called Tornado, so um, we're going to gather all the NPCs up together like that. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, I figured that that would work. Okay, yeah. Let's also go ahead and level up the Iron Mace. This one also has a Mastery 1 ability. Okay, there's just this one guy can still damage me despite the fact that I have a Logia Fruit on right now. 
I'm gonna kill them both with my ability. Mace Slash. Boom. Okay, that sucks. But you know what? They're dead. And there we go. No way. We already got the skill that fast. Okay. Now we gotta put in our stats because we went up three more levels. And there we go. For some reason, I accidentally put the stats in Blocks Fruit. We don't really care because we just gotta keep going, man. This has gotta be the worst quest in Blocks Fruits, bro. No, you can't. What about you? Oh, of course. The other one can. Yep. Yep. This game makes all the sense, man. This is uh, very... This, this makes every single bit of sense that could ever be made sense of in the game. And now this guy is just down here and I can just go ahead and kill him like that. There we go. And yeah, we got our next quest now. Nice. Okay, let me just go ahead and put the three points that we got. Or two, actually. Here we go. I just matched up my stats to be at my level. Now we gotta go ahead and accept the next quest, whatever that is. Uh, military spies? Okay, yeah, this is the one for sure. Is it just like, if you get to higher islands, they can still damage you, even if you have a Logia fruit? Is that it? Because, okay, obviously, these guys can damage me because, you know, I'm the same level as them. But once I get higher level, then they should not be able to damage me whatsoever because it's how it's been for every other island in side of the game that i've been on so far so it should be the same thing for this one too right all i know is that these guys deal a lot of damage and i don't know how to like kill them because what is this damage bro this damage should not be in the game this damage should not be in the game bro oh my god get these guys' damage out the game bro like why do they do infinite damage bro like what what is this bro oh my gosh just 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 die just die just die boom okay there we go oh my god we did the quest we're level 350 we went up three levels from that Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure now we can kill the boss. We're level 351 actually, okay. We can kill the Magma Admiral, which is level 350 quest. I'm pretty sure he's inside like the volcano here. Okay, this guy's gonna do a lot of damage to me. So I already know we're just gonna start spamming him with these attacks here. Fortunately, we have like the most mid stuff in the entire game. I only have 10 seconds left of my boost. Oh my god, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. This guy has to die right now. This guy has to die right, right now. I'm just gonna out M1 him. I think he's low enough. There we go. Okay, we killed him. How many did we get? Oh my gosh. Okay, we got level 355. Okay, my WXP ended just in time. Oh my gosh. We did that just in time. Okay, there we go. We're level 355 now. We went up five levels from that. I might just keep server hopping and killing the boss. And uh, yeah, this guy's about to get himself completely destroyed right now. Boom. Yep, we're hitting him with the trash combo. Uh, combos yep there we go take that take that go ahead and do like that oh my gosh no way we're comboing this guy with the worst stuff in the game right now what is this game right now there's no way he doesn't die this time around he's literally one shot right now boom take that and take that boom there we go okay how many levels do we get we only go up two levels for killing this guy oh my god yeah, that's pretty bad because uh, we don't have double EXP anymore. Since we are at a point where the light fruit is now completely useless, since even though it's a Logia fruit, they're still dealing damage to me, I think it's about time we switch our fruit. So we're just going to go ahead and eat a random fruit in our inventory. I think we're just going to go for Quake Fruit as it is a legendary. We're just going to go ahead and eat this Quake Fruit and we're going to try to level it up because honestly, I don't even know, man. Let's just see. Is this even good? Okay, uh, Quake Punch. Boom. Okay, this kid keeps trying to, like, PvP me right now, which, uh, is very annoying, but you know what, that's okay, I can just do like that, do like that, like this, buddy, it's so hard to fight a noob account, I swear, bro. Yep, okay, he just went in the lava and he died, alright. Well, that's just great, I don't have any fruit stats, and there's no more, uh, stat refund codes. I'm just kind of stuck with a quake fruit that I can't even, like, use, so that's, that's just great, man. I don't even want this quake anymore, so I guess we'll just go back to ice fruit, because honestly... With ice, we could freeze things and prevent us from taking damage. All right, now this guy has to die, surely, right? There we go. Okay, how many do we get? Four? Five? Okay, finally, we can go to the next island, and it seems like we went up four levels from that. Okay, it's nice. Okay, there we go. And now we can head over to the underwater city. Yeah, I've made my way to the underwater city. And now we gotta go ahead and talk to King Neptune, I guess, and uh, Fishman Warrior. There we go. Okay, uh, yeah, switching to sword stats was not the best idea, but at least now if I get Saber Sword, I can go ahead and level it up. All right, luckily, there's like a lot of these guys that spawn all at the same time, but that also means they're gonna be doing a lot of damage all at the same time. Time, which is not what we need right now this is taking a very very long time just to even complete the quest once like it is actually genuinely insane how difficult this game has gotten right now 
There we go, though. We have completed the quest, and we went up four levels. Let's go. Okay. I'm actually really happy about the fact that we just went up four levels from that. That is really nice. Um, that is exactly what we needed right now. All right, these should be the last three I have to kill before this quest is done right now. And oh my gosh, can I just say, this is one of the hardest quests. And also, wait, I just, I just finished uh, getting my ability on my dark step. Now I got the overheat. Okay. Yeah, let's see how much damage we do now. Okay, what? Okay, that is way better. Yeah, this dark step is actually finally getting good. Let's go. Okay, we even completed the quest and we went up two levels from that. Oh my gosh, bro. We are back at jungle because I need to go ahead and get myself a different fruit. Please give me Buddha. Come on. Oh my God. What does it mean? You have to wait 0, 0.00 hours. What, what does that even mean, bro? We are in a new server. Let's try this thing again. Let's see if we can go ahead and roll ourselves a fruit and hopefully get a Buddha. And I got myself a chop fruit, bro. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure i already have one of these yeah i do just like throw it behind this tree for someone to find later some way somehow i found another two times the xp code i thought i used them all but there's literally just one more finally my ice food decided to work again so yeah now i could have not have switched out a light i was gonna go use quake but realistically all the good swords in the first seat you have to be higher level to get so when we get to that point then we will because we're swordsmen so now throughout all the episodes we're gonna try to level up every sword in the first seat all right this should be the final quest before we are level 400 after this the series is gonna take a turn for either the better or the worst because i don't know if there's any more double exp codes might have to buy the game pass or something because there we go as you can see now we are level 400 oh 401 okay yeah so there we go we are now level 400 um which means we can do the next class but that also means it's the end of the video on the screen right now is a playlist of every single episode in the series check it out if you missed any